Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I actually have a handful of new tweaks that I'd like to share with you guys. I do hope you enjoy them. Alright, so starting off here is Lock Launcher. Right off the bat, you will notice my lock screen looks different. There's these four icons, almost as if it is Android, where you could just grab one and drag it up and it'll open it up. But, you know, same concept, different execution right now. So open up one of these, you just tap it, and you're there. You don't have to drag it up or anything. You know, you can set any app you want, a custom number up to four, and in settings, you can modify where you want to put it, uh, the placement of the apps, how many apps, if you want to enable it or not. And, you know, it's really convenient. So if you just ever want to play PSP like me on the go and you don't want to wait to slide to unlock to get there, it's right there right away. So it's a really convenient little thing. And, you know, I like to keep them on the bottom, but you can put them up higher. It's like Android, but a little bit different in its own way, which is good. Also, another tweak on the lock screen is pluck. So if you double tap, you now have this little icon when you want to select your music and if you select it, it brings up the menu where you can go ahead and select any song you want from your music library. And I find this convenient because when I'm driving, I actually like to select my music, but I don't have to go into my music application to do it now. I could just do it right here. It's very convenient. You can select it right there, which is pretty cool. This one is absolutely free and I did forget to mention Lock Launcher does cost $1.99 in the Cydia App Store. It's the only paid tweak in this entire video, but okay, so the next two are in your notifications menu. So this one right here is called Add Dial. It adds a little add contact icon and dial phone icon for easier use of your iPhone so you can navigate to the phone application faster and add a contact or whatnot. And right here is NC Music Gestures. So this one actually adds a little widget into your notifications menu, which you can select this, swipe to open up a new song, and navigate where you want to go inside that song right here. So really cool little thing for free. I find it very useful. Now there is one left that I'd like to show you, which is really cool, probably my favorite out of the bunch. It is called Touch Pal. So it's basically swipe for your iOS keyboard. And I found that it does work. And excuse me, because I am looking through my camera, it is a bit hard for me to do this with accuracy, but I will go ahead and try. There you go. And this is actually really hard, guys. I hope you get the point. Um, I'm not going to try and finish it, but uh, it does work. It's very, it's optimized for the iPhone 5, 4S, you know, all iPhones. And I find that it does work very well. Yeah, it will work on your iPods as well. But there's actually several different styles of this keyboard. And you can actually switch between the keyboards by sliding on the bottom. So right here, it goes to this different type of keyboard one that you'd find on an old Nokia phone, or right here to this type. And it's pretty cool because you can modify it and it's a swipe keyboard. So you do get a lot of Android features on your iPhone iOS device. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna say, why do you own an iPhone if you wanna get Android features on them? And that's because I never said that I have anything against Android. Android actually has a lot of innovation in their operating system and why not bring it to iOS when you can so you can have the best of both worlds. And that wraps it up, guys. That is five awesome tweaks for your jailbroken iDevice. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, guys. Peace.